today's adventure is going to be to get these big firewood rounds onto the trailer. I've got a hand truck and I think it'll work. I believe my father-in-law says this is how they get their big stuff up. We're moving these firewood rounds so that we don't disturb our tenants on the weekends when we have time. We're gonna take them over to my dad's, dad's old house, and uh, where we do our other firewood stuff and break them down there with the wood splitter. So now I've got to go repair the tire. I got three pieces on and the tire's flat. So the lesson of the day, take your time, fix what needs to be fixed, in the beginning and you won't have to stop a tenth of the way through <laughs> back here at the house now i'm going to try to get this tire off off the rim and fix the inner tube most stuff today is tubeless these have inner tubes these are it might be easier just to go to harbor freight and pick up a couple of new tires but i'm gonna try this went to dad's and looked in his old shop monkey grip rubber cement the little scratcher and one piece of patch that's all i could find out of all the stuff over there i can remember using this stuff as a kid to fix bicycle tires go-kart mini bikes anything that had an inner tube you had the monkey grip cement kit patch kit for inner tubes i'm gonna see if i can't find a couple of these I may need to buy one just for, for keepsake. Anyways, I'm gonna get this tire took off and I'll show you how all this goes. I'm thinking it's gonna be easier to leave it on the hand truck so that I can handle it. The object here is to not do more harm than good. You will pinch the inner tube and put more holes in it by taking the tire off. Let's hope I don't do that. I think I understand why it's easier to buy a tire. You can't even get it off. Look at that. Already bending the rim and it's on there. I think it's looks to be about the same one way or the other getting it off. Ah, ah, I do see something here. There's four bolts. Take the rim apart. Huh. Okay. All right. We'll go at this a different way. This is by far the best tool kit I've had and actually kept up with it. I've got tools scattered all over the place, but I seem to keep up with this better. And uh, this is my go-to tool set. <laughs> Why don't they put the same size nut as the bolt. These are two different sizes. Why? Why, folks? Wow. <laughs> oh, my word. Who would have thought?
I learned from a tire guy years ago to take a rag and go through the inside of the tire. Possibly whatever's stuck in the tire is still in it and the rag will grab it. Nope. Free and clear. I feel air already. Uh oh. Three holes in one patch. gonna cut it in half this will go on the single there's two holes right close to each other I'll just try with this one and I believe the blue you peel off the blue sticks to the rubber part the other piece had a clear film on it you just peel it off just because that's what we're doing anyways let's hope the glue is still good Empty, empty. All right, the little scratcher wasn't working as good as I wanted it to, so I'm gonna take the Dremel tool, little sanding drum, and clean them up right quick. I did find some glue out in the barn in the backyard. I believe it work. It says for wood, rubber, metal, etc. So I'm gonna get these cleaned up. We'll give it a try. So, I'm gonna take my welder adhesive here, spread some, and put our, our little patches on. Looks like it's still usable. It appears to be stuck pretty good thinking once it gets inside that tire and it pushes pressure on it, it should be all right. Well, we're gonna put it back together and see. been about 30 minutes and we are still pumped up tight I'm gonna take advantage of this time before it gets steamy hot and uh, see when I get loaded up right quick
boy i haven't worked that hard since my brick mason days take the trailer back over to dad's i'll get the rest of this maybe with the tractor we're gonna call it a day that my friends is a six foot by 12 foot trailer full well mostly full of huge rounds of good firewood I still got the stump over there to deal with but we'll get there right. see what the old Polaris has got get it pulled out of here <laughs> 